Next question is from Rudresh saying, what percentage of people in a society are likely to be conformists? How do you have a system with more iconoclasts? Okay, well, they, they, we shouldn't be asking percentages because we can't guess these numbers. Like we need stats and data and stuff like that. Yeah, we would need to act, do actual research on this. But and the, I and also don't depends know on if what the you system mean. should have more yeah. iconoclasts because you need you can't have too many black sheep you need to have some level of co You're, cohesion you, but okay. who told you you that? <laughs> shouldn't you know harshly punish and abuse and ostracize the iconoclasts like we should quote unquote normalize dissent that's what i'm into but actually maximizing icono iconoclasm i don't think is con conducive yes okay so i so again it depends on what you mean by conformist and how you define at what point somebody is not a because we are all like every one of us at some point like to some extent we are confirming to some things and rebelling against other things right it's not very neatly defined right like um and not everybody it's not a binary thing you know so some of us are more likely to be black sheep and some of the some of us are more likely to be followers but Susanna is like right like the the percentage if it's too high towards the black sheep it could like mutate the society into a way but like we have become a civilization because of some form uh, uh, a certain level of you know um conform you know so this might be I, I, okay so this might sound like a contradiction right we wouldn't we would be like other animals if a large um and we wouldn't ever have like a civilization if a large percentage of humans were not confirming and just not fall uh, and we're not following um without just questioning things right so it, it kind of look like work it, w this is like when it comes to tribes and civilizations and cultures right the evolution of memes right works very similar to the evolution of uh, when it comes to the the biological world, to, to in genes, in animals and plants and other other living things, right? Um, in the sense that you want some level of mutation, just so that you could have enough variety to be able to respond to shocks and to be able to have enough variety um, to to introduce new ideas. Just like uh, mutations in nature produce new genes that might be superior. Um, black sheep in, in a society produce new memes that might be superior. That the, so the black sheep are responsible for providing the fuel for evolution, right? Of, of societies. However, just like in nature, that most mutations are horrible <laughs> in a society. Um, most black sheep are also. I don't know, conspiracy theorists, nut jobs that think like, like aliens are responsible for everything. And there's like, you know, vaccines have microchips in them and shit like that, right? So just because we're YouTube, we're, that is not our belief. We're talking about the oh. beliefs of other people. God damn. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, that we're, we're referring to other people, right? But you need you need a certain level of you know rebel rebellion, you know, just to make sure there's experiments with other ideas. But you you still just like in nature that you 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 don't want too many mutations because if if there was too many mutations every single animal or, you know would just die from cancer or something like that right uh, you want most of the society to just accept the standards and rules and just accept it and follow right uh, because so just because we're the black sheep like most of us here are black sheep like right? like we're we said no to religion we said no to so many things and we're the black sheep and we think we think we're, we're a good mutation right so we're hoping that our mutation will eventually become the norm um and eventually but that means that eventually the people who are atheists they're not part of the rebellion they're just that's just a norm like like for example people who are atheists in i don't know scandinavian countries they're not part of the black sheep they're just like responding to what the norm is in the society and most people are like that so does this country does this contradict my promotion of individualism because you're like oh i mean you're saying most people are uh, conforming and most people are not rebelling and that's a good thing that's good for society um so why are you um against collectivism and pro-individualism so the difference is which i'm talking about defending individualism when it comes to rights and laws i'm not talking about changing human nature okay one of them is biology um if you think like 
the laws and rights of individuals should reflect our biology, you're basically appealing to nature, okay? Because if you want to appeal to nature, then we should also defend the, the, the strongest and be against the weakest individuals. But in society, we're actually doing the opposite of what nature was <laughs> trying to achieve. In society, we're actually trying to defend the weakest um, against the strongest. We're doing the opposite. So appeal to nature doesn't make any sense. In a society, um, when it comes to rights and freedoms and um, the ability to speak, we want to treat everybody like an individual, and, and, but that doesn't deny that most of us, even with, with those rights, even with those rights, most of us will just look at it around us and just like try to blend in, try to just be accepted by society. And we wouldn't, a lot of us might not take full advantage of those rights, but those rights have to be there. And we should, even though, so they, these are two different things. One of them is talking about human nature and the fact that we need that nature or else we wouldn't even have civilization. And the other one is about when it comes to accepting people's rights and freedoms and individual liberty um, and the, the the pursuit of happiness, uh, the pursuit of goal, every we should let everybody define their goal, define how they're going to become happy, and if they wish to then sub you know submit to the will of the crowd and just follow the crowd, that's their choice. But they should have they should do that because it's a choice, not because it has been defined for them by a government or an ideology as a collective for the crowd. If you want to blend in, it's completely your right to blend in, and it's good for you. Just blend in, okay? But that you, we want to make sure you did that because you wanted to, not because you were coerced into it. So that's individualism. It doesn't go against um, knowing that most people are just, uh, con con you know, are followers. It's okay. If you want to be a follower, just be a follower. Hey, guys. If you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.